Hi, it's Heidi Heilig, Epic Reads, author in residence and book wrecker. That is book recommender, not book destroyer. I will not bring your books to the beach and get sand in the pages and drop them in the water. Why am I reminding myself that books and water don't mix? Because it is cold as Dante's icy hell outside. And I am ready for a tropical vacation. Now, as some of you may know, I am from Hawaii and I am lucky enough to have family there that I can crash at for a few weeks. But not everyone has those kinds of resources. Few people can just jaunt off to a tropical island whenever they need to. That is why I'm here, bringing you five book recommendations that may as well be tickets to a tropical getaway. First off, Summer of Sloan by Aaron Schneider. Now this one is the quintessential summer vacation book. The warm Hawaiian sun, lazy days at the beach, missing your boyfriend who's still on the mainland. Except for that last part, because Sloane's jerk face boyfriend has now become her broken nose faced ex-boyfriend when she learns that he has cheated on her with her BFF. Unfortunately, the broken nose has resulted in Sloane's broken hand. Luckily, her cast is waterproof. So she takes to the waves and the joys of surfing to process her emotions, including heartbreak, betrayal, forgiveness, and the possibility of new love. That's Summer of Sloan by Aaron Schneider. Our second book is something a little less summery and a lot more survivally, A Map for Wrecked Girls by Jessica Taylor. Now, Emma and Henri are sisters, and they have all the love and complication that that relationship entails. At the start of the book, there is a mysterious rift in their relationship, and that rift only worsens when they're wrecked during a boat ride while on vacation in Puerto Rico, washed ashore on a mysterious and deserted island alongside one of the boys who is also aboard. The two girls have to survive and find their way back home and back to each other. As someone with a sister, the relationship between the two girls was really real and pretty gut-wrenching, and it was all rendered in Jessica Taylor's really gorgeous prose. So if you're the type who likes to vacation with family and also packs a Swiss army knife, you should pick up A Map for Wrecked Girls by Jessica Taylor. Next up, Rainy Patel in Full Effect by Sonia Patel. When I was a teenager, growing up in Hawaii in the 90s. If you had told me that one day there would be a book about a rapping Indian girl living on Molokai who shaves her head after her dad cheats on her mom and turns to hip hop to process her emotions, I might have been a little skeptical. And this book is as lush and as fascinating as it sounds. The language in this book is powerful, slam poetry sprinkled with Hawaiian and 90s slang. If you're the type of traveler who loves a trip off the beaten path, the book for you is Rainy Patel in full effect. Next up, something a little more fantastical, The Jumbies by Tracy Baptiste. Now, I know this book is middle grade, but that only means that the myth and the magic is even more present. And what is a tropical vacation without a little magic? This story is about Corinne Lemaire, who has had to be both practical and fearless since her mother died some years ago. So when she sees eyes in the dark when chasing an agouti through the forest, she thinks it's the local kids trying to play a trick on her. But then she sees a beautiful stranger asking questions about her in the marketplace. And when that stranger starts to bewitch her father with spells and home cooking, Corinne has to use her own magic to save her father and her home island. This book gets downright creepy at times, and I found myself looking for eyes in the shrubbery as I was reading. So if you go on vacation and you prefer the ghost tours to the beaches, The Jumbies is the book for you. Last, but not least, because this is one of my own, I do recommend The Girl From Everywhere by me, Heidi Heilig, trustworthy book wrecker. This story follows Nyx, who lives with her father and her found family aboard a time-traveling pirate ship. Yes. Yes, I did that. They use old maps to navigate between centuries, histories, and mythologies, but the one map Nix's father wants is the one where he last saw his wife alive, and that's 19th century Honolulu. Unfortunately, that's the one map that might also erase Nix's entire existence, including, and perhaps most importantly, 
her growing relationship with the rather charming thief that they rescued off a 17th century map of mythical Persia. Of course her father finds the map he's looking for, but not everything is as it seems. And this kicks off an adventure involving sugar barons, Hawaiian mythology, and the political maneuvering that led to the eventual theft of the Hawaiian island by the United States government. If you like to break up your beach visits to visits to a tropical museum, The Girl from Everywhere is the book for you. There you have it! Five books to take you on a tropical adventure without ever having to leave your house or having to tangle with the TSA. Have you ever read a book that has absolutely transported you? Let me know in the comments below. It has been an absolute pleasure talking books with you, and I hope to see you again soon on Epic Reads.